I'm I'm loving and appreciating right now. Yeah, that's a fact. So uh, let's get right into it. Let's yeah. get into some music. Oh yeah, yeah. Let's do that. What's good, Nas? Nas. A King's Disease. Yeah, part. I feel like we late, Two. but I, to be honest. I like that we I took like our that time. Take our yeah, time. Cause I got to listen to it at least like five times. I listened to it like twelve times. You know, I I, I get focused. Mm-hmm. Um, I, I like, like this album. I like this album a lot. I like it more than the first one. There's only one track I don't like, and I like it. But what's that? The A Boogie shit? Nah, I like that track. That shit. Why KTV, nigga? Nah, I like that track a lot. Um, the track with Eminem. It's not the track with. Eminem. It's not the track. It's I think Eminem. it's Eminem. Yeah. That's the only thing I don't like on this album. Because EPMD went crazy on it. Why is he there? Nah, it's never did a track with him. And that's the track you do? A remix? I didn't like it personally, but I like... The I'm glad one. he's at the end, because I skip it right after now. You ain't like EPMD neither? EPMD is at the beginning. Okay, yeah. Now it's got the second. Yeah. Now it's got the second verse, and then EPMD, we back in business. Hey, they still is going in though. <laughs> no, I'm talking about Eminem verse. Yeah, EPMD Eminem is that. fucking annoying, bro. And they kind of threw a shot at him. If you listen to it. Yeah, mm. yeah, yeah. Yeah, I don't like that shit. Yeah, I don't like that shit either. Um, 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 I don't like that shit either. Maybe every time, but um, besides that, I am um, very enthused though about this album. Yeah, I really like the album. I how many how many features he got on it? I'll tell you right now: two, three, four. He got Miss Lauren. Six, four, five. That's why I like the album. 15 tracks. Because um, King's Disease Part 1, I, I, liked, I started to like that album later into the year. I liked it more in the summertime, you know what I'm saying? When I started to listen to that album. But this one, uh, this one with the less... Hmm. I don't know if he had the same amount of features or less features on the, or more features on the first one. I felt like he had... I feel like he had more on the first one. Features? Yeah. He might have. He might have. Let me look. But so yeah. he had more, right? Yeah, but yeah. More features, less tracks. Yeah. Uh, my favorite track on here. That's what I was gonna say. Some is, highlights of this. Is album. moments. <clears throat> That's like my favorite track on here. Moments. My favorite track on here is rare. Moments rare. Rare, let me tell you something. Rare is exactly what the fuck the name of the track is, okay? Because it took me to my fourth listen to realize, because you know, I don't look, I think I said this before, I don't look at the track listing as I'm listening to albums. Yeah. I just listen to albums. My, I got earbuds, I put them on, mm-hmm. earbuds, I put them on, my phone is probably somewhere over there. While I'm listening, cleaning, rolling up, smoking, yeah, whatever. My phone is in my book bag when I'm walking. Right, you understand what I'm saying? Yeah. So as I listen to Rare the first couple times, I'm not realizing that when the beat changes, it's the same it's fucking the same song. Track, I'm yeah. thinking it's a different song that is going into. Yeah, four it's verses on that. Three. It's three. I, it might have four verses, but it's three. Uh, um. Because it does sound like two different songs. It's three. It's three different beats, right? That fucking, that song is hard, bro. I love every time he says something about a fitted, it's a Mets fitted. I just, I just love that. Queens, yeah, not I just, No, not just Queens, my nigga. He's from right there. He's from, He's like, from right, right across there, the street. Nigga. Yeah, yeah <laughs> He's right. from Queensbridge. <laughs> right. He stand on his roof and look at that shit. <laughs> so, um, yeah, when I finally caught that, like my fourth listen, I'm looking at it now. I'm in the car. And I'm like, yo, this shit is fine. Hold on, it's the same song. This song is fire. So Rare is definitely up there. Moments. Moments um, is fire. Nobody. And I like No Phony Love. I love I love No Phony Love. But uh Death Row East does something for me. Death Row East is fire, bro. He the way he the way he makes his concepts, his concept songs is hard. 
Like, this is what it would have been if y'all would have really created it. Y'all would have heard Nas on something like this. You know what I'm saying? No. That's not what he's saying. What you taking from it? That's the story, bro. It's not. Yeah, he's concept. he's telling the story he's of telling how you of should... what Death Row East was because Nas was allegedly going to be going to Death Row East. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. He's telling that was how... always the rumor. He's but telling you he how it would have really been. Touched on it. Mm -hmm. That's why he says, "Let's talk about it." Yeah, that's why like I feel like his like concept that's a, songs are so fire. That's an interview. You know, remember Nas doesn't do interviews, mm -hmm. so he's never sat down and touched on that. Pause. It's always been rumors, and it was like, how if the niggas was about to fight at the at the Source Awards and shit? I don't remember yeah. they, And he said all on that track, he like Pac wasn't. That's and I I took it from me, right? Because if I'm upset, right, and I'm talking to niggas that we had drama with or whatever, but we smashing it, we, like we, we I'ma still be, you know what I'm saying? Like yo, cause I'm saying a little hype, yeah. Cause, cause she's still getting your point of right. Cause she could go where it got to go and it don't need to. Yeah. And if you looking from down the block, people it's gonna, gonna take look it. They, like the perception's gonna. I'm be in different. your face, like nigga. Da, yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, cause even Snoop told that story. Snoop saying he said he told Pac yo chill. Pac thought man. that he had the upper hand and now and Snoop was like in my head I'm like. And I don't think they let I us don't slide. Think yeah. That's what it was. That's Snoop telling from. Him. His perspective, because mm -hmm. he might have been shook. Mm -hmm. See, a lot of people don't want to look at it like that because that's big. Because Pac right? is the one talking. Yes. So he's it don't know it, you don't know what he's exactly feeling towards Nas. Right. You know what I'm saying? I'm not like how many times I'm just giving you the energy Nas that I have towards everybody like, else. Relax. I'm like, nigga, I'm good. I'm yeah, yeah. I'm just giving my energy that I have towards everybody else, but you are ear that I could give it to. Right. A non-biased ear. Right. And, and that's that, why Nas finished the shit with like, I loved him, you know what I'm saying? I went out there to death, Shoe Street Dreams of Death, this shit. I got there, he was already in the hospital. And then it's like a little uh, interview clip at the end of that track, right? Like, Nah, that's Ed Lover yeah, interrupting the show. Shit. Yeah, a little interlude type talking shit. Right? Yeah, yeah, that's him interrupting That shit giving me chills right now, yeah, that track. Bro, that track like, was And like, that I'm, beat is fine. I'm riding in the car with Giant Giant said, no, 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 I got to read this shit. I hear him, but I got to read it. Like he said, stretching set pop up. Like, like all that shit he got into was like, bro, it's all documented. You can't tell me you follow Tupac and Biggie life and you hear Death Row East and don't understand what the fuck he's saying. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> so the um, Brunch on Sundays is one of my other tracks that I, I like. I like Brunch on Sundays. I like Brunch on Sundays just because. Give me Jay-Z feels. Yeah, it's a little bit of a lyrical exercise, you know what I'm saying, just chilling. Uh, YKTV, like we said, that shit is all. That is nasty. And you know, count me in and the whole album. Compressor, Nas is good. My Bible, those tracks are decent. You know what I'm saying? I think those tracks are decent because the ones we named beforehand are so fire, are so fire and stand out. That it's like I want to hear that again. I want to hear that again. Then when you get to this, you are like this is fire too. This is fire. So overall, I want to hear that again. So overall, what you give this album? Uh, what we doing on five or five tempo? stars, five mics, whatever. four and a half. Yeah, four point five. I'd have gave him five if Eminem Who's wasn't on the shit. <laughs> Still not my favorite album of the year though. So the the first one, right, King's Disease. Mm -hmm. It it has time to breathe. It's breathed, right? Yeah. Would you call it one of his classics? Yeah, definitely. And this is this one is a good There's follow up, right? Yeah. Okay. I, I'm not gonna call it a classic yet. It's been out for no, a it's week. That's a classic. Yeah, I think he's he's getting. It's a classic yeah, sound, I think bro. he's getting it's better with making albums right now. He's found his his producer. This is all I was missing, bro. It's like a nigga being able to paint with no paint. Shout out to that nigga. Tell you like, yo, I want this to be yellow and this red, and I'm telling you, it'll be fire. But I ain't got it. All I got is black and orange. But I'm telling you, I can make it look good in Halloween colors, but it's fucking Easter. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to do yellow, red, green, and make it pop. Tools, and now yeah. he woke, he got a nigga. Hey boy walked in. Mozart. Walked in. I got you, bro. I got you. I got you. Yeah. out in the flesh, nigga. I got you. Splash! What you want to do with it now? Yeah. 
So he he's one of the he's one of the examples that I use when people try to hit me with the like, M is so lyrical and all that. Like Nas is very lyrical to me. You know what I'm saying? The the simplicity, the way that his bars hit. You know what I'm saying? Like. Mm-hmm. I always try to compare them to like that. Like I think Nas is more lyrical than Eminem. I think he's just an all-around better rapper. And I'm starting to appreciate Nas more and more as time goes. You know what I'm saying? So, shout out to Nas. Shout out to Hit Boy for making another one. You know what I'm saying? So, what's your album of the year so far? Uh, you serious? What? Banks, bro. Still? Yeah. <laughs>